Thorpe. Who does Thorpe prefer? Oh, that's a tough decision because I think we saw a different version of Banner in this film than we've mm -hmm. ever seen before and a different version of Hulk too. A lot of our scenes mostly were improvised just with me and Mark Ruffalo kind of playing around with the scenes and seeing where we could push these characters because we'd never really spoken on camera prior to this film. What are the odds we survived this trip? I'd say the odds are about a million to five. And that's crazy to think that you guys have done this many films technically together at this yeah. point, yet this is a new pairing. All of the Avengers, I think we spent so much time together, but rarely do we sort of cross actual conversations together. This was an opportunity to explore that. Just a couple of hot-headed fools. Yeah, same. Hulk like fire, mm. Thor like water. Well, kind of both like fire. What point do you <clears throat> come into the conversations about what they're going to do with Thor in a new movie? After the second Thor, I yeah. had a, a great time shooting that movie, but I really felt like I'd sort of locked myself into a very familiar territory of mm -hmm. what was expected from that character. And I called Kevin Feige and I said, look, if we're going to do a third one, we've got to visually change it, we've got to change the look, you know, change the hair, get rid of the hammer, all the obvious set of points. <laughs> and um, with Taika, he had the same vision. He said, we've got to make this different and make it something that people don't expect and have more fun with it. And a lot of people have talked about how safe Taika made it feel for all of you on set to try new things. How did he do that? Oh, look, I think you just have a sense of who people are, you know, and then do you trust them or not? If you're going to give a director 10 different versions of the scene, you're only going to do that if you think they've got your interests at heart and they're going to look after you in the edit. And I had complete trust in him, and I think just because of the films he'd made prior, I had a great sense of heart and truth and humour. There's a continuity in our sort of collaboration and an agreement in what we're trying to achieve.